Okay, he still is a champion. I know that you believe that, Mohammed. Well, you know, the people all support me like we see uh, many, many hundreds, probably thousands of seats are empty tonight. I understand the closed circuit theater is empty. And people really don't recognize George. They still recognize themselves. So call me the people's champion. But I will we'll be the champion on paper as soon as I retire the winner of this fight. And that will come off soon in a few months. Somebody's coming out here now. What do you think of this fight, Ali? I predict uh, that we will see an upset by Ken Norton winning by a late knockout or probably for sure a decision. And if I'm wrong, we just, I'm, count, I'm saying that because he gave me trouble. Here's White. Norton coming in now. They consider him uh, as receiving his master's degree in boxing because of him going 24 rounds if you are late. That's right. Two fights has a record of 30 wins, two losses. One of those losses in 1970 to Jose Luis Garcia. He was knocked out in the eighth round of that fight, and then of course he had his biggest win over Muhammad Ali, March 31st, 1972, and then turned around and lost to Muhammad Ali, 12 rounds on a split decision back in September. Ali yelling here at the right beside us that he is with Ken Norton. And the reason for that, of course, is that he doesn't like George Foreman one bit. Because Foreman holds the title that he likes to claim. That's Ken Norton. Good close-up view of Ken Norton. Tremendous concentration. Ken Norton, who is considered intelligent, cool, a great competitor, does his handler and people like Art Ripken and Bob Byron and Lloyd Schumann and A.B. Polinsky who have worked with him with the Holiday Fighters and now he looks over towards Ali and says I'm ready the fighters will be gloved That's in the right. ring as much trouble as he gave me for 24 rounds he should whoop this right. chunk do you really believe Ali that he yeah man. man yeah the man went 24 rounds with me broke my jaw in the first round I was in shape to sacrifice still I barely won the fight this man, George Foreman, fought out of shape, fat Joe Frazier, hit him with a hard punch, had him on Queer Street, knocked him down six times, and still couldn't keep him down. Joe King Roman, a nobody, couldn't keep down. He haven't passed the test, he's hadn't had no action in the past year and a half, and if this man can not in boxing, keep his distance and give him the hell he gave me, as fast as I am, as accurate as I am, I couldn't whoop Ken Norton, and I have trouble with it, so I'm sure Awkward punching, wild swinging, George Foreman. If you don't look up and knock him out early, see if I'm not right. Ken Norton will be the new world champion. As we take a look across, here comes George Foreman. You hear the combination of cheers and catcalls. Definitely the favorite here. As far as the crowd is concerned, it's Ken Norton. As far as the odds are concerned, it's George Foreman. Both fighters on their feet in the ring. Foreman decked out in red. Ken Norton looking over towards Muhammad Ali and nodding, I'm going to get him. George Foreman has shown all the confidence in the world. One thing we're going to have to look for with George Foreman is that he is definitely a fast starter. He has 11 first round knockouts. Foreman has a record of 39-0. There he is, bouncing around, all the confidence in the world. That's Archie Moore who will be working his corner there. One great lightweight. Of those 39 wins. He has 36 knockouts. What a tremendous record does this Haywood, California product have. This big win, of course, was over Joe Frazier in Kingston, Jamaica, January 22nd, 1973. The upset of the year to that point. What happened later on? The fellow on the other side decked out and flew. Ken Norton broke Muhammad Ali's jaw. This set off this confrontation here tonight. And introducing fighters here at ringside. With me is Muhammad Ali. I'm Bob Short. You describe the blow by blow, and from time to time, you're going to hear Muhammad Ali telling you exactly the way he feels. Bob, I'll say this to say hello to all our friends down there on Miami Beach, because some you're in my stomping ground, remember? We've done some stomping around Miami, all right, Ali. Talking about the fight again, they say that, and they say this about you too, that George Foreman has a tendency to push uh, against the fighters that he fights against. There's Oscar Bonavita right up above here. And he, Oscar Bonavena now is trying to get Ali to go into the ring. There's Joe Lewis in the middle of the ring. Former heavyweight champion of the world. Loved by everybody. He got a tremendous ovation when he came into the Palladro here in Caracas earlier. Joe Lewis and Oscar Bonavena with him. And now here's Ali trying to get up and talk to Bonavena. Bonavena's got the jacket off. Hey, hey. They've been into it two hey. or three times already. Down yeah. here, Ali. we got a fight to broadcast here tonight. Hey. Wait till after the fight. Then uh, you can go ahead and Oscar Bonavena.
Rebecca Boravena. Ali, you really want a piece of this man again. Well, I knocked him out less than 15th round in the title challenge post. He says if I didn't knock him out in the 15th, he would have won. And I'm, I don't know, he just makes me, I shouldn't go my pool like this, because I just ain't going to have no man standing over me, threatening me of all people. I'm just threatening, he don't threaten me. He certainly throws out a national television one day. shaking the knees and but it's a funny thing after the I guess ball players experience the same thing after the bell rang and you come out and the first punch is thrown then it's just like another day in the gymnasium there it is from a man who certainly knows George Fullman and I have just been offered five million dollars a piece which is unbelievable by the government of Zaire uh, which is used to be known as the Belgium Congo in Africa and if he can win this fight tonight, which I don't think he will, if he win the fight, uh, he and I will defend, our, uh, he'll have to defend his champion again in the Congo. Well, that's certainly your territory, Ali, but right now, talking about this fight, look at the concentration and the stare job that Foreman is putting on Ken Norton. Norton certainly has plenty of confidence in his own right. Norton on the right-hand side of the screen, George Foreman on the left-hand side. Here we go, round one, the heavyweight championship of the world is at stake. Let's watch and see if Foreman comes on strong. At this point, Norton has thrown the only punch. The right and left on taken on the gloves by George Foreman. While left hand over the head of George Foreman. Both fighters exactly the same size. Foreman slightly heavier, about seven or eight pounds heavier. Norton and Foreman both six foot three inch. On the right hand side of your screen is the champion Foreman. On the left hand side is Ken Norton. Norton in blue, Foreman in red. Round one, just on the way in Baragas, Venezuela. Foreman showing the concentration. Foreman looks a little bit more patient than we've seen him. He knows he's got a fight cut out for him because he's in against a real big fella. Foreman goes out with that light left, taken on the shoulder by Ken Norton. Here's the pushing tactics. Foreman starting rather slow, feeling Norton out. Norton, and that won't call it a classic style, but certainly the style of dragging that right foot behind him. Vicious left foot was over the head of the champion. Straight left hand thrown by Foreman, taken on the face, and a right hand and a kidney. That's a punch you've got to watch out. There's a good left hand, the best right that we've seen. Foreman pushes down the head of Norton and landed a right hand, straight left hand in the face of Ken Norton. Norton trying to jab more with his left hand. This is what they say he has to do. Left hand thrown by the champion, right hand to the kidney thrown by the champ. The both fighters, the best punch is their left hook. There's the right hand again to the kidney of Kenny Norton. Norton takes a light and throws a right of his own. One minute remaining in round one. Very even first round of this point. Light left hand taken, wild right hand, another left hand taken on the gloves by Norton. Norton scores with a left hand in the side of Foreman's head. Left hand miss. A left jab in the face to Foreman. Right left on the forehead. Pretty good left hand on the forehead of Ken Norton. Norton is back up against Roach. This is where he can't afford to stay. He slips the punch and slides around to his left. Very important type of movement. Norton hanging on with that left hand and tries to throw that wild right hand to the body. Norman is not a great boxer. He's a great puncher, though. Norton is a good boxer. As Foreman comes in and tries to hold up, Norton backs up. Nine seconds remaining in this round, the first round. Foreman kind of feeling out Norton. Stay tuned for more action tonight at the fights on Classic Sports Network. That's George Foreman washing in. It hardly looks like he's filled up with sweat yet. There's Archie Moore working on him. There's Handler, Dick Sadler. Coming up to round two. First round, very even. Maybe a slight hand on the amount of leather landed on Norton would have to give to George Foreman. Muhammad Ali is continually yelling instructions to Ken Norton. This is Norton's corner here now. Norton filled with the top.
concentration. He's a positive thinker. In fact, he won the Napoleon Hill Award for Positive Thinking, the Foundation Award. Here we go, round two, the heavyweight championship, Caracas, Venezuela. George Foreman, Ken Norton on your left. Now watch Foreman try to cut off Norton in the corner, but Norton is working the left jab much better as he slips a punch and out of that corner. This is what Norton must do. Long right hand lands just on the left hand side of the head of Foreman. Norton drives the jab. Foreman holds those hands up and tries to push. No damage done there. Foreman puts that away. Foreman will try to push and he'll push his man down with his left hand and then throw the right. Foreman seemed trying to cut Norton off in the corners. Kenny Norton has got plenty of boxing experience. 24 hours with Ali is a master's degree in boxing in any man's school. This is what he can't do. He can't mix it up with Foreman inside. The referee, Jimmy Rondo, separates the fighters. First real clinch of the fight. Round two, scheduled for 15, a heavyweight championship in the world. Oh, a good, good right hand, the left hand side of the face of Norton. Norton is a bit stunned as Foreman is seen off, and it looks like Norton has really been staggered as he went up against the rope. The referee is giving it the count. Yes, you'll have to take the eight count. Okay, seven, eight, and here we go as Foreman comes banging on in the second round. Norton goes down again, the left hand on the side of the head. Norton goes back, he'll have to take another eight count. No, he doesn't. His legs are rubbery as the left hand goes to the side of the head. The right up, a kind of left jab, and all of fish is left. Then Norton crumbling to the canvas for the second time. Norton is in Queersville, he doesn't know where he is. It's up to five, six, I don't know if Norton can make it. It might be all over right here. It's up to nine, ten. And they, are they going to continue it, or are they going to stop it? It looks like it may be all over, and it is all over. George Foreman retains the heavyweight championship. Stay tuned for more action. Tonight at the Fights on Classic Sports Network. Back to Tonight at the Fights on Classic Sports Network. into the ring here in Caracas. We're going to get to the heavyweight champion of the world, George Foreman, in on a second round knockout. Once the bow to everybody, reminiscent of the games, and certainly in the Olympic Games with George Foreman went around the ring with a flag. Tremendous second round knockout for George Foreman. We're going to get to him and talk to him. Watch the microphone. Hey, George. Let us get it, George. George? The many people around the world want to talk to the champion. George? George? Hey, watch it now, watch it. Come on, champ. The many people around the world want to talk to the champion. I know. Let's go. Let's get him on. Okay, right there, right there. Yeah. Get the champion on television. Yeah. All right, I'm here with you. No more talk. Okay. Champ. Champ. Come on. Champ. George. Come over here so we can get you on television. Will you please? Millions of people around the world. Champ. How about it? Did you think you could do it so early in the fight? I was very fortunate to catch him with some good punches. The man is strong. He's got a good jail, which surprised me. Dick, I got you not to get excited, man. Champ, the big story has to be... Champ, the big story has to be what happened today with the leg. What was that story? Well, God bless me. I've been... My leg is in bad shape. I have to get some rest on it. I couldn't even walk this morning. Tell, tell me, what punch did you actually drop him with, George? George, turn around for television, will you please? We've got certainly pandemonium in the ring here. And pandemonium. George, what punch was it that you took him out with? I think it was a number of right hands. They weren't real sharp, but they were right on the foot. Oh. Yes, I got him hurt. I didn't let him come out of it. Did you really believe that you could take him out? I know the pre-fight you said you're crooked. Well, I've been 
just talk to her. I know more. I'm proud. Okay? Okay, George. Hello, Michael. Uh, 100 million people listen to you right here. That's right. Here. That's right. Okay. All the people are important. So Phil, glad you just met a good death. Okay. George, where do you go from here now? A big fight coming up in September against Muhammad Ali? Well, first, I want to get home. My mother had to be hospitalized while I was away. So I had to go home and see my mother, see how she's doing. Then rest the baby and see what's up. Champion, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Great, good. Good talking to you.